may be seated. You're welcome to hold hands, whatever's comfortable for you. Welcome everyone. On behalf of Sham and Elizabeth, thank you all for being here, for taking the time and making the journey, and for all the effort that that takes. Not only to be a part of this day, but to be a part of each other's lives. Sham and Elizabeth have invited you here to share a very important moment in their lives together, to share what matters with those who matter to them. Now the most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends friendship and it becomes something so wonderful you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. Because life is full of the unexpected, there are those close to you who are not able to witness this union today, and we're sending much love and gratitude to those supporting you from afar and honoring the memory of those who have passed, especially Sean's grandmother. However, today, Sean and Elizabeth, you have each other. This day will be just one of the many stories from your life together that you will be able to share for the hundredth time after many happy decades of marriage. And the truth about marriage is that every relationship is as unique as the individuals in it. For love to exist between two people, each person has to be vulnerable in giving their love to the other, and each must be open to receiving the other's love in turn. Therefore, each of us is a powerful creator of love. Each of us, every moment of every day, we have the choice to dedicate ourselves to one another. When I asked these two beautiful humans why marriage and why now, they mutually expressed their gratitude for the foundation of their companionship and their excitement for building their future together. From the moment you two met to the proposal to here and now, you have found your permanent place in each other's lives. Elizabeth, you are Sean's compass. Your convictions and values are inspirational. Sean, you're Elizabeth's total package. Your support never wavers, and you can always make her laugh. In this magnetic state, you have found that your opposites, your weaknesses, your strengths, they complement each other perfectly. Any serious conversation for one has long been a conversation for two. And you continue building a loving relationship founded on hard work, trust, and mutual respect. Marriage is a bold step into a sometimes unknown future. It is risking who we are for the sake of who we can be. When you are together, you don't have to pretend to be anything other than who you are. You are able to express yourselves without fear of being judged or rejected. It is an equal investment of respect and compassion with room for both of you to be unique individuals. In marriage, two lives are intimately shared. And yet, the blending of the two should never diminish either one. Instead, it should enhance that individuality. 
Now, as marriage is a venerated institution and one deserving of deep reverence, today we observe the union of and in holy matrimony, a commitment that you two are choosing to undertake with all the sincerity that that warrants. And while marriage is a sacred and serious tradition, it also is cause for tremendous joy. Married life is full of surprises and adventures and memory making, all made possible by the enduring power of love. As we solemnize this union, Sham and Elizabeth, you officially begin your life of partnership, one defined by shared hopes, dreams, and successes. And as you learn to love as one, you will encounter many challenges, but these can help you grow. Spend, <clears throat> spend time doing the things that make life precious. Cooperate with each other. Always make time to laugh. Never lose appreciation for the love that you share. And remember to adhere to the vows that you make today. Seek strength from each other. Give hope to each other. And let your trials lead you to grow together. They say love can build bridges and climb mountains, and they're right. You will find that as your love grows and matures over time, your love for one another will prove both fulfilling and so empowering. As there are challenges in life, the strength of your bond will offer you protection against life's storms. Always make your relationship a priority. Continue to nurture each other, and through commitment to love, with the power of faith, together, you will be able to navigate any obstacles that come your way. I'd like now to invite Brother of the Bride, Alexander Swindle, to share a Bible passage. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. And so too, to the parents of the bride, Martin and Connie, and to the parents of the groom, Sastri and Nina, what God is to the world, parents are to their children. Sham and Elizabeth want to thank you for having patience throughout their lives, for teaching them values, and for unconditionally loving them both. There is no friendship, no love, like that of a parent for their child. They will forever cherish the love you have shared with them and continue to grow with the aspirations from the example you have set for them. Sham and Elizabeth, your journey may have begun the moment you met, but since then, you have taken the time to learn what makes the other person smile, what makes them laugh, how to best support them when life is less than simple. You've welcomed each other's families, communities, and lifelong friends, and you've joined them together here 
with warmth and enthusiasm. You've built a new village with your love, and you have worked every day to support this village as it changes and grows. Today, we should try to remember that this wedding, it is a symbol. It is a heartfelt and meaningful symbol, but a symbol nonetheless. This ceremony is not magic, and it will not create a relationship that does not already exist and has not already been celebrated in all of the commitments that Sean and Elizabeth have made to each other, both large and small in the days since they first met. What we are celebrating today is not the beginning of a marriage, but a marriage already in progress. This ceremony is a symbol of how far you two have come together and of all the promises you will continue to make to each other throughout your married lives. Now, nothing is easier than standing here and saying these words, and yet nothing is more difficult than living them day to day. When you love someone, you may not like them all the time in exactly the same way. That may be impossible. And yet that is what most of us expect. We forget the ebb and the flow of life and love and of relationships. But in love as in life, the only stability is in change, in growth, and in freedom. Therefore, what you promise today must be renewed and reaffirmed tomorrow and tomorrow and all of your tomorrows to come. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. And as we've said, no ceremony can create your marriage. Only you two can do that through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive and learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let the rest go. What this ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice that you are making to stand together as life mates and as partners. So we come now to the words that Sham and Elizabeth are most looking forward to. These words will take them across a threshold in life, taking them from the before to the happily ever after. A marriage, as most of us understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment. It is made in the deepest sense, to the exclusion of all others, and it is entered into with the desire and hope that it will last forever. Sham and Elizabeth, of all the people you have met, you have found each other. Are you ready to be married? Oh, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> all right. Sham, if you'll repeat after me. Oh, we can bring that forward. I, Sham Prasad Varanasi. I, Sham Prasad Varanasi. Take you, Elizabeth Grace Swindle. Take you, Elizabeth Grace Swindle. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. To stay with you for better or worse. To stay with you for better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And Elizabeth, please repeat after me. I, Elizabeth Grace Swindle. I, Elizabeth Grace Swindle. Take you, Sham Prasad Varanasi. Take you, Sham Prasad Varanasi. Be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To love, honor, and cherish. To love, honor, and cherish. 
to have and to hold, to have and to hold, to stay with you for better or worse, to stay with you for better or worse, for richer or poorer, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. The union of Sham and Elizabeth has joined all of you here together today. We are reflected in this relationship, and as a new family has been created in your community, we participate today to welcome and celebrate them. Do you, family and friends, affirm your continuing support of and love for Sham and Elizabeth as they make their union official? If so, say we do. Excellent. May we please have the ring. Thank you. You can take each other's band. Okay, we're going to start with you, okay? So like this ceremony, the rings that Sham and Elizabeth have chosen to exchange are an enduring symbol of their commitment to each other. Sham and Elizabeth, may these rings remind you of who you are, where you come from, and where you're going together. Sham, as you place the ring on Elizabeth's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a reminder of my love for you. As a reminder of my love for you. All right. Elizabeth, as you place the ring on Sham's finger, please repeat after me. I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it as a reminder of my love for you. As a reminder of my love for you. Okay. <laughs> Sham and Elizabeth, on this day, you have made your new wear life together. May you also continue to recognize that separateness from which your relationship has sprung. May your own special lives continue to nourish the love which made your relationship strong and to nourish your future together with all of its hopes, all of its disappointments, its successes and failures, pleasures and pains, a future filled with warmth and with love. In closing, my hope for you too is this. May you have many long years to delight in each other's company and to love and be loved by all of your friends and family. May you make a home together that is both sheltering and welcoming, and welcome your friends and family to that home. May you each do meaningful, productive work at home and in the world, learning from your struggles and growing from your accomplishments. May all of life's challenges be met together with courage and optimism. And may all of your days be filled with laughter, support, and most importantly, love. Sham and Elizabeth, here on this, the third day of July, 2021, you have declared your union, you have spoken your vows, and you have exchanged your wedding rings. You have created for yourselves the high covenant of marriage. Therefore, before God and your loved ones, and by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you the newlyweds, Sham and Elizabeth Varanasi. Woo! Woo!